Okay, what is your favorite song? Right now, right. my secret, like, embarrassing song that I've been getting ready to in the morning. Britney. Not Britney. Oh, way back. Go back a little further. What? You know that song, um, We belong to the night, we belong to the thunder. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not, that's not embarrassing. It is. It's like, wake me up and power, power ballad. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, I've got a very wide range of what I listen to, so. Uh, see, I've been listening to a lot of Glass Animals lately. Oh, really? Which I really like them. Wow, um, they're you, new, they they're came new here. I know, Did I was you? bummed I didn't get oh, to see them. Okay. Their newer album I'm not as crazy about, but their, their original stuff I really, really like. Um, because they do all analog, but it mm -hmm. still has kind of an uh, electronic vibe to it, mm -hmm. but it's all analog synths and analog nice. everything. So I'm getting inspired by them. And then I've still been listening to a lot of Laura Mavua, and she just put a new album <gasps> Yes! Out. I like her, too! I, I bet I didn't know that she had a new album. She just put it out, like, a few days ago, so... She's insane. Yeah. She's so good. Would you like to define worship, like, to you? How would you define worship? I define worship? I think, such a broad... I'm, I think worship... I mean, obviously, it's adoring someone or something, but I think you know, worshiping God. To me, my big distinction that I like to make is that it's not just a monologue. Mm -hmm. It's actually a dialogue. Mm -hmm. We gotta create more space for him to get a word in edgewise. Mm -hmm. he, we're talking to a real person and he's responding. I, I don't believe that God just created billions of people and billions of angels he, to just stand around him for all eternity and shout, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, yeah. holy, holy, you're beautiful. I mean, what kind of egocentric God <laughs> would that be? Mm -hmm. I mean, how weird would that be? He's it, not like that. He's but... not like that. It's a, it's a dialogue mm -hmm. it's um it's he's interacting with us and so i always want to be aware of creating that space like practically how do you do that in corporate worship i think that's a better question yeah in the midst of leading like hundreds or thousands of people in worship how do you create that space without it being awkward or, yeah, or I, feeling or feeling pressure to perform or something i think the i think getting out of that pressure to perform is the key mm -hmm. you said it right because you got to create some awkward spaces sometimes whether it's just take a moment in the music and let it breathe mm -hmm. and ask holy spirit you know what are you saying what are you doing mm -hmm. what are you thinking i just think you just have to be okay in your own skin yeah to create that space and then if he doesn't do anything then it's okay you just move on mm -hmm. go to another song totally <laughs> <laughs> so like in the corporate context how do you fight against that pressure of oh I need to make them move. I need to make them dance because that's how yeah. that's how I'm like gauging my success as a worship leader. How do you fight that and how do you stay true to hey Holy Spirit's yeah. leading you right now and we're gonna be calm and quiet. I, I don't care if you don't a, like it. I think it's a huge <laughs> thing because I've gone through seasons where I was very pressured by that. And I I think we do need to do songs that facilitate mm -hmm. corporate enga engagement like that. So I do think that is important. However, I looked at my own life and I go, okay, when I'm in a worship set, when am I really the most engaged with God? Mm -hmm. And that is was it, actually my other question. Yeah. So this is perfect. Like, is it when I'm jumping up and down? Mm -hmm. And and yeah, I love to dance in worship. I used to dance all the time. I was big into just dancing and worship and headbanging, you know, <laughs> like river dance. I was always river dance on the bottom, headbanging on the top. <laughs> I like the that aggressive. takes a lot of like coordination. I, I was super aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you I, wasn't, the... I wasn't one of these kind of dancers. <laughs> Oh, Did like, you love like rock shows and like live moshing and stuff? Yeah, I was super into like just awesome. moving my body. So I think that that's a good thing. However, now I'm most engaged usually when I'm sitting down, mm -hmm. my eyes are closed and I'm actually talking to God. And it's a gentle tears or it's gentle conversation. And so mm -hmm. I've learned to not judge a room yeah. by how much they're moving. Mm -hmm. But so good. But really go where the spirit is prompting you to go mm -hmm. and, and trust that he knows the hearts of people in that room. Mm -hmm. and he knows the little phrase or the sentence or the melody yeah. that's going to create the dialogue. Because that's mm -hmm. what you really want to do. Yeah. Get the dialogue going. Yeah. That's so good. That's what I think. <laughs> I think it's so free. And coming from Misty Edwards. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to end now. So, bye! bye. See you later! <laughs>